Look, I love my Xtool F1 Ultra. However, I've always had one major problem with it. I can't use all of the accessories and fixtures that I like to use with my other fiber laser, and it's kind of bummed me out. But I think the solution to my problem might have just been delivered today. Let's check it out. What we have here is the Xtool F1 Ultra HD fixture plate by the company Blackwell Engineering, and it couldn't have arrived at a better time because I have some work to do on my F1 Ultra. If you watched the video I just posted, I engraved this um, hatchet blade up here, but I also want to do an engraving on the handle, and I'm going to use the F1 Ultra to do it. So let's do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what's inside of here and why I'm so excited that I finally have something like this, and then we will um, show some examples and run this project. So what, should I use the hatchet to open it? Let's do it. All right. Ooh, very nice. All right, let's start with the fixture plate first, and then we'll talk about these accessories here. And big reveal. Ooh, very nice. So if you're not familiar with what a fixture plate is, you'll traditionally see these on Galbo style lasers, and they're used to expand the functionality of what you can attach to the base of your laser. Um, for adding accessories, things like the air assist, adding little screws and dowels to keep your placement of your coins and all the things you're working on. Even the F1 Ultra uh, comes stock with a plate at the bottom that has the little screw holes, but it leaves a lot to be desired. And Blackwell Engineering uh, definitely understood that and created this product here so we can vastly increase the capability of our um, fixtures and accessories. So you can see here all the nice, beautifully machined holes. So it has threaded M6 holes and also dowel holes, which I'm gonna show you more in the example section of the video here, but I just wanna show you what that looks like there. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that I got here. So the four screws in this bag, these are what you will use to attach the fixture plate to the base of the F1 Ultra. We'll be doing that in a couple minutes. And here is the optional hardware pack that you can order with the fixture plate. And it comes with an assortment of different items here. So these are um, threaded M6 thumb screws. So these would screw down into the plate like that with a nice wide thumb area. You know, when you're, when you're screwing these other kind of screws down, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying when you have bigger or longer fingers to get these things in and out. So you get four of these thumb screws. Then you get um, eight of these traditional M6 style screws. Screw down like that into the plate. And over here we have four non-threaded dowels and four threaded dowels. So the non-threaded dowels, instead of having to screw the screws in and out, you can just pop these in here like that. And you don't even have to worry about screwing these in. You just pop them in right into the non-threaded sections of the fixture plate. So that's really cool. And then the threaded ones, you can pop these into the threaded area and it comes with a little flathead screwdriver head there if you wanna really drive them in there. And this is available to order as an option when you order the fixture plate here. Next up, we have, I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but it looks awesome. And you can see here, it has the made in the USA marked on the side. And on the other one here, we have Blackwell Engineering. So to me, these look like tie downs. They're, or I mean, you can use these as fences, I'm sure. Uh, the fences are usually what the things that are called that are uh, attached to the fixture plate. But this has an angled top here, or an angled bottom. And I think these are used for clamping down. So if you had a material that you really needed to make sure it didn't move, you know, the F1 Ultra, that's a small compact area. And if you're pulling things in and out, you wanna make sure that your piece doesn't move. I think that's what these are for. 
So you could kind of pop this down here and screw it onto the plate. You can change the directions and you could use these to hold down the edges of certain things or just use them as a standard fence to hold things in position. They look really awesome. I'll have to play with these a little bit to see what the best use use case is. And then they in this in this little package here also comes with a couple more of these um, thumb screw. This probably fits in here. So if you if you wanted to remove this one, you could use here and kind of slide it around. Again, I'll have to I'll have to play with this more. I've never had an an accessory like this before, so. I'll have to figure out what the best use case is for them, but they look great. And finally here, we have a couple more traditional fences. So let's open them up here. These are probably the most familiar to you. You have something like this that came with your F1 Ultra. It's just a little bit smaller. And these are just perfect 90 degree uh, fixture fences here and you just screw them down using any of the uh, M6 threaded um, bolts to bolt it down anywhere you want. Great for business cards and things with a nice uh, 90 degree angle. That's what you would use these for. And then we have what they have called the original multi-fence. There's a nice marking on the side on the top there. And these are a little bit more varied. So you can use these to hit weird angles. So let's take an example. So if I wanted to put the fence down here, let me zoom in a little bit. For example, we could screw a section down here. Maybe we needed to put it at a weird angle like that. And then take one of the other fences and see, so screw it in up here. Let's say you had an item that you had to put in here and it just had to hold it at a weird in a weird angle because it's just a weirdly sized item. Uh, you could you could use the multi fences for something like that. You could add the 90 degree angle fence. You could add one or more of the standard M6 screws. You know, there are no rules here when we're making jigs and tying down items that need to be engraved. You can use any combination of these fences and these screws to really lock in what you're working on. So let's go over to the F1 Ultra and install this plate. All right, everything is bolted down nice and secure. And as mentioned, I wanted to do an engraving on the handle of this hatchet here. Um, only thing I have to take in consideration is there's a slight slope. So when I lay this down, one sec. So when I lay this down on the, on the platform here, I don't know how well you can see it, um, the handle slopes down a little bit. So what I wanna do is try using some of these fences and bolts to kind of level this off a little bit so this is reasonably flat. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Let me show you what I did. So first I used an M6 screw in the back here just to kind of prop up the blade a little bit to keep it off of the surface, keep this nice and flat. Then I used this, what I think is a clamp down tool in a different kind of way. I used it to raise, sorry, let me grab this. I used it to raise the blade off of the surface there. You can see, and it's holding it nice and flat. And then what I did is I added an M6 screw back over here in the back. So I can kind of use this as a pivot point uh, about how I want to center my design after when I start framing. 
it's off a little bit, I can just pivot the knife uh, handle on this edge here right across this M6 bolt. So you can see how creative and innovative you can get with how you're using all the accessories on the fixture plate here when if you didn't have this, this would be a lot tougher to do. Oh yeah, daddy likey, very nice. And while having this fixture plate is awesome for one-off projects like this, where it's really gonna shine is when you're doing repetitive tasks and bulk processing. Being able to quickly align business cards and bottle openers and coins and whatever else you need to engrave is gonna vastly streamline your workflow. Having to rely on the camera to place each item just takes up way too much time. When in this case, you can just use your fences and your screws and your fixture plate, you can line up one item absolutely perfectly and then just quickly swap them in and out and not even have to think about using the camera. And probably the best part of all, since the fixture plate uses the M6 screw size, which is considered the standard screw size, you can use all of the attachments and jigs and modifiers that are used with standard fiber lasers that are out there on the market already. So if you're interested in checking out this fixture plate as well as all of the other laser accessories made by Blackwell Engineering, you can use the link in the video description below. All high quality stuff, small batch manufactured in the USA. It's the holiday shopping season, so put it on Santa's list. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.